How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the UTK Far Infrared Heating Wrap. This product is a bit more expensive than your typical heat pad. That's because there are some claims to this that it can emit far infrared rays. It's supposed to be able to go through your skin and provide heat even towards your muscles. The claim is that these far infrared rays has health benefits to it, but I'm not gonna claim this. The box says natural jade and tourmaline stone. Also promotes the environment of therapeutic negative ions. I can't actually see negative ions and it's very hard to prove that any negative ions are being emitted. Kind of like in a hair dryer. You just gotta take its word for it, I guess. Let me go back and unbox this and show you what's inside. Their bag with UTK logo, instruction sheet. The power supply is 30 watts. The controller has a grid of 20 jade and tourmaline stone. It sort of alternates. There's 10 of these lighter color ones and 10 of these darker color ones. They actually move around on the inside and the lighter ones, they move around as well. This is a 30 watt heater. It heats this thing up behind all these stones. I have to assume these greenish color ones are jade and the more brownish ones are tourmaline. So different kinds of stones, it's heating them up and after it absorbs this heat into these stones, it's supposed to re-emit them in far infrared. Let's do some tests and see if it actually penetrates your skin. I'm gonna set the temperature on both of them to be equal, apply it to a simulated skin surface for a few minutes and see how deep it penetrates. The left is the UTK heater. I've set it for 125 degrees Fahrenheit. The heater elements is reaching 136 and the stone may require up to half an hour of heat up time. And right now it's only about 107 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll wait for this to heat up first. The typical heating pad it's reached about 135 Fahrenheit and there are a lot of concentrated heat lines. It feels very hot to the touch. Whereas on the UTK one, you can't really touch the heat lines underneath unless you really dig in there and touch them. If you just apply it on the surface, you only touch the stones. So you would feel whatever that's radiated from these stones. A bit of a different type of heating technology. This one is kind of more indirect and it's re-radiating from these little pebbles of stones. I decided to wet four t-shirts and wring them out to simulate multiple layers of skin. I have four t-shirts on top of each other right now. They're all completely unheated. I just noticed that the center six stones are hotter than the perimeter ones. It makes sense because there's heating wires surrounding it versus the perimeter one where the outside here is not heating the stones. So the center one is at 116 degrees Fahrenheit. The outer ones, it's a little bit cooler at 109 degrees Fahrenheit. This is somewhat equivalent in temperature around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna put the UTK heater on here and also the regular heater on here and put some weights on top to get good contact. And we'll wait a little bit. It's been on there for like 30 seconds or so. Let's see how it's doing. The t-shirt has gotten to 90 degrees. That's crazy. And I put a lot of layers of t-shirts cause I wanna peel them back. 81, 87. Peel back another layer, 80, 86. The UTK one is still hotter. And finally, the last t-shirt, 79 and 84. And it even goes to the desk area here, 77 versus around 80 degrees. The far infrared does penetrate faster, 115 degrees on the center stones. Summertime right now, so I'm not too keen on putting this on for too long. The sensation really does feel like you're sitting on a very warm rock. You can see the outside is warm. Now that I'm feeling pretty warm, let me take it off and show you what that looks like. No big surprise there, it warms it up. Thanks for watching this video and checking out the various tests I did on this. If you're interested in one of these, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Mm -hmm.